Hi friends, happy Friday. Today we're going to be reading The Sweetest Valentine by Jane E. Gerver and illustrated by Priscilla Burris. Tomorrow will be Valentine's Day. The class is making cards. Here are paper, lace, and glue. Fred says this won't be hard. Will Fred use paper that is red or paper that is pink? Which color will look best with lace? Fred thinks and thinks and thinks. Sue cuts out lots of hearts. She pastes them one by one. Jean draws a pretty garden. Jack draws a yellow sun. Ray cuts out a cupid and a bow and arrow too. Fred gets to work. He cuts and draws. Oh no, there goes the glue. Time to stop. Fred's teacher says her name is Mrs. Fox, but Fred does not have any cards to drop into the box. All his friends are going home. Fred follows. He feels mad. I did not make my valentines. Now Fred is feeling sad. Fred walks through the forest, past Jean, Jack, Ray, and Sue. And then Fred gets a bright idea. He knows just what to do. Fred eats his dinner. He takes his bath. He gets to work. And then he gets a little messy and needs a bath again. Valentine's Day is here at last. Mrs. Fox stands in the crowd. Each student picks a valentine and reads the name aloud. Jean gets a card from her friend Jack. Ray gets a card from Sue. And Fred gives a card to everyone for you and you and you. I hope you like these valentines. I made them by myself. There were no more lace or glitter or paper on the shelf. I made hearts from leaves and feathers, and I used some acorns too. I stuck them on with honey since I had no paste or glue. Sue's valentine is the reddest, and Ray's card is the neatest. Jean's card, Jean's heart is the biggest but Fred's cards are the sweetest. Fred gives a valentine to his mom. She asks, is this for me? Thank you so much, my little Fred. You are my honeybee. The end. Have a wonderful weekend, friends, and I'll see you on Monday. Bye.